What's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys another top 4 mail chart outfit video using clothing glitches. So this will be the first outfit that I'm going to show you on how to make. So for this outfit, whenever you do make it to a clothing store, just walk over here to your tops, scroll down to t-shirts, which will be on slot 23, and put on no top on slot 1. After you have done this, you can then just back out of t-shirts, scroll down to slot 53, which will be the utility vest, and you're going to scroll down until you do find the peach plate carrier on slot 43. Whenever you do equip the peach plate carrier, you can then just back up the tops. I'm going to go ahead and take off the parachute real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and also take off the IAA badge. And I will show you guys on how to get that later. But now you can just walk over here to the pants section. And to be able to get these alien shorts, you will need to be abducted by any UFO that you see on the map. So the UFOs normally spawn between 22 o'clock in GTA. And it ends around maybe 4 or 5 o'clock in GTA time. So you guys have around a good amount of time to be able to get it abducted by a UFO. Then you're just going to want to head back over here to the clothing store. You should see that you are in green UFO boxer shorts. And all you want to do is go over here to the short section on slot 3 and equip the white UFO boxer shorts on slot 1. So you guys have unlocked the white and the green, but you will spawn in the green. But you can just go to the clothing store and equip the white UFO boxer shorts. Now that you have done this, you can back out of the pants section, head over here to your accessories, go to gloves on slot 7 and put on no gloves. And that's all for the accessories, so back out. I go over here to the shoes, click on any selections of shoes, it doesn't matter, and put on no shoes on slot one. Whenever you have done this, that's pretty much it for this outfit so far. So this is what your outfit should look like. After your outfit does look like this, you're now just going to want to walk up here to the front counter, go ahead and hit edit saved outfits, and save this outfit on any slot that you want if you are doing the heist apartment merge. Now, if you are doing the it's a G thing job, save the outfit on slot one or slot 20. But after you have saved the outfit, you can now just go ahead and back out of your edit saved outfits, go to heist coveralls on slot 13, scroll down to slot 9 through slot 12, and equip one of these outfits with a toxic mask. After you do equip one of these outfits, you can then just back out of the front counter, and now we're going to head over here to the pier to do the telescope glitch. Now that you have found a telescope on the pier, all you want to do is the telescope glitch. So go and run past telescope like this, hit right on the d-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place, then looks towards the telescope just like this that's how you know that you're glitched just pull up your interaction menu go to style go to your outfits and equip the outfit you just saved with the ufo shorts and the peach plate carrier after your outfit looks like this put away your interaction menu walk away from the telescope and you will see that the mask does merge on your outfit just like this now we're going to head over here to a gun store now that you are at a gun store, you're just going to want to walk over here to the top section, go and hit edit saved outfits, and save the outfit on whichever slot you did before. So like I said, if you are doing it's a G thing, save the outfit on slot 1 or slot 20, or if you are doing the heist apartment merge, save the outfit on any slot that you want. And after you did save the outfit, you can now just back out of the tops. Now we're going to start up a job, so just hit pause, go to online, go to jobs, go to play job, go to rockstar created, go to missions, look for the job that's called a titan of a job and just start up that mission when you are in the titan of a job mission you're just going to want to walk back over here to the tops you should see that you aren't wearing the peach plate carrier anymore then you're just going to want to save the outfit once again on the slot you did before after you did save the outfit back out of the tops you can now just pull up your phone and quit the job from your phone now that you are back inside of a public session run back inside the gun store walk over here to the right side where it does say outfits and you're going to go to the diamond casino heist which is on slot 50 and you're going to go to group a sex gear on slot 20 and equip one of these outfits with this type of belt so it doesn't really matter but as long as you do equip one of these outfits with these type of belts you are good so now that you did equip this outfit we're going to go ahead and do the merge so then we can merge the belt over to this outfit all you want to do 
as go to your apartment. But if you are doing the it's a G thing, I will leave a link in the description so then you guys can bookmark the job and do the job to merge the belt over to the outfit. But for me, I'll just get back to you whenever I do get to my apartment. So once you do make it to your apartment, go into the heist planning board room and walk up here to the heist planning board. And out of all the five heists to go ahead and select the first one, that's called the flake of job. The first job it's gonna have you do, it's gonna be called scope out. Once you have completed the scope out mission, the second job it's gonna have you do, it's gonna be called Kuruma. And that's gonna be the job we're gonna be using for the merge glitch. Now that you have the Kuruma job available, you can then just launch the mission. Once you are in the Kuruma job, set your heist clothing to player saved outfits. Once you have set your heist clothing to player saved outfits, you can then confirm your settings and then invite whoever you want, like a friend or a random. And whenever someone does join, you can then launch the job. Now that you are in here where it shows your outfits, all you want to do is scroll to the slot to wherever you did save your outfit, which should look like this. Now you can just hit ready to play. After you do load into the job, all you need to do now is just pull up your phone and quit the job from your phone. Okay guys, now that you are back in a public session, all you want to do is find a vehicle. It doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street. But once you do find a car, go ahead and get inside that car. Now pull up your interaction menu and register as a CEO or an MC. After you have done that, you're now just going to want to pull up your interaction menu, click on Secure Serve CEO or Motorcycle Club, then go to Management, then go to CEO or go to Style, and then on your CEO style or MC style, scroll one time to the left and then one time to the right back to none. Now you can just hop out of the car and you will see that the belt does merge over to the outfit just like this. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the IAA badge on this outfit. So you're just gonna wanna go over here to the UL paper, but before we do that, you're gonna wanna save this outfit first. And now whenever you do save it, you can just head over here to the UL paper mission. When you have made it to the UL paper mission, which will be over here, this is what your outfit should look like. Now you're gonna wanna go ahead and find a vehicle, get inside that car, and all you wanna do is drive over the yellow circle just like this. Now go ahead and hit pause, go to online, go to playlist, click on playlist, go ahead and click on create. Now you're just going to want to scroll down to add parachute jump, click on add parachute jump, and you're going to click on the top one. That's called a ridge too far. After you did click on a ridge too far, now it's added to your playlist. You can now just back out, scroll down to the bottom until you do see where it says save playlist, click on save playlist, and now name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it IAA since we're getting the IAA badge for the outfit. Now that you have uh, saved it, you can back out of the map or you can back out of the pause menu and you should be over the yellow circle just like this. So now that your car is over the yellow circle, all you wanna do is just hit pause once again, go to online, go to playlist, go to my playlist. And as soon as you do join a ridge too far, so after you're hovering over the yellow circle and you are at this menu on your playlist, after you do accept it, so you hit okay, after you hit okay, you're gonna wanna start spamming right on the D-pad as fast as you can until you do join the job. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay to join the playlist, and then I'm gonna start spamming right on the D-pad as fast as I can until I do join the job. Now this is what it should look like, ULP intelligence with this type of background. All you wanna do is now just confirm the settings, and then all you need to do is just go ahead and hit play, and then launch the job on your own. Once you have done that, you should have a background of like an eagle, if it's a different background and it doesn't have your personal outfit that looks like this, then you guys did it wrong. So if your background looks like a beach or it's something plain that's not the Eagle or the IAA building, then you guys did it wrong and have to back out and redo the job and the playlist thing. So, but whenever your background does look like this with the Eagle and your outfit, you can then just hit ready to play. When you load into the job, you should see this is where your outfit looks like with the IAA badge. All you need to do is just go ahead and get inside your car and now look for your apartment. You guys can't see it on the map, but just head to your apartment to wherever it's at and just go ahead and walk inside your apartment. Whenever you have made it inside your apartment, you're then just gonna wanna go into the changing clothes area. Now you should see that your outfit looks like this with the UFO underwear shorts, and then you guys have the belt and the IAA badge. Now that you are here with all of those, you're just gonna wanna hit edit saved outfits and save this outfit on whichever slot you want. After you do save the outfit, you can then just back out. Now just pull up your phone and quit the job from your phone. When you do load back into a public session, you will see that your outfit looks like this with the out without the IAA badge. All you need to do is now pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your outfits and equip the outfit you just saved while you were inside the job. And you should see that the IAA badge is now on your outfit. So now we're just gonna head to a clothing store and finish the rest of the outfit.
Once you have made it to the clothing store, you're just gonna wanna go over here to the hat section. Once you have made it to the hats, go to Bulletproof Helmets on slot 19 and equip the tan bulletproof. After you've equipped the tan bulletproof, you can now just back up the hats. Now for the final part, which is just gonna be the parachute, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your parachute, set your parachute to on, just like this, and have your bag set to the black combat shoe bag. If you don't have a black combat shoe bag, then you will wanna go over here to a gun store, go up to the front counter, go to parachute, go to parachute bags, and then look for the black combat shoe bag. Whenever you do find the black combat shoe bag, you can then just back out of the front counter, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your parachute, set your parachute to on, and it should be set to the black combat shoe bag. And this is what your outfit will look like whenever you're done. So now you can just walk up here to the front counter, hit edit saved outfits, and save the outfit on whichever slot you want. After you do save the outfit, that's pretty much it. Now we can move on to the second male glitched outfit. For the second male glitched outfit, this is just going to be a black joggers outfit. So to go ahead and get the black joggers, we're going to go ahead and start with that first. You're going to want to call in your MOC. So to do that, pull up your interaction menu, go to services, go to mobile operation center, and request your MOC. Now that you have done that, just hit pause, wait for it to spawn on the map. Mine will spawn right here. Whenever your MOC does sp spawn in on the map, you're then just going to want to go ahead and go to the back of your MOC. After you do get inside your MOC, you're going to want to go ahead and go to the jobs inside your MOC. So it's going to say access mobile operations. After you are here, go ahead and hit right on the D-pad, log in, and scroll down to the bottom and we're going to be using the work dispute so we can get the black jogger so just go ahead and launch this job and after you do launch this job you guys will need a friend to help you out and after you guys have a friend loaded in that can help you out you can just go ahead and start the job and for the difficulty make sure you do set it to easy so then you guys do have more lives but i'll just get back to you whenever i do load into the job once you load into the job, if you guys are the first player, which is the host, you guys will begin the black joggers. But if you're the second player, you're going to be getting the red joggers. Whenever you guys fully load in, just go ahead and head to your apartment. When you do get to your apartment, just letting you guys know, if you guys are new to this, you guys cannot see your apartment on the map, so you will have to remember where your apartment is at. So whenever you are at your apartment, go ahead and walk up to the blue circle, and you're going to want to go ahead and blow yourself up. You can use a rocket or a sticky bomb. So whenever, once you're in the blue circle, just blow yourself up. And after you do load back into the session, go ahead and just walk into your apartment. Whenever you're here inside your apartment, go ahead and go down to the changing clothes section. Whenever you're here inside the closet, just go ahead and scroll down to your accessories and you're just gonna wanna change one part of your outfit. So just change the gloves or you can change the shoes. But since I'm just gonna go ahead and change the shoes, head to your accessories, scroll down to gloves and you can just put on any pair of gloves that you guys want. After you do equip the gloves that you guys do like with the, with the outfit, it really doesn't matter, but just go ahead and save this outfit on any slot. After you do save the outfit, you can now back up, back out of the closet, go ahead and you can now pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. When you do load back into a public session with the black joggers, you can go ahead and head to the clothing store so we can go ahead and do the outfit that you guys see in the thumbnail. When you've made it to the clothing store and you are wearing the black joggers outfit, you're gonna wanna walk over here to the top section, go to utility tops on slot 52, and equip the black battle vest on slot 34. After you do equip the black battle vest, you can now just back up to the top section. We don't have to worry about the pants since we already do have the black joggers. Just walk over here to your accessories, go to on slot three and equip the black desert scarf on slot two. After you do equip the black desert scarf, just back out, go to, go to gloves on slot seven and look for the black woolen gloves on slot 58 and equip those gloves on your character. And after you do have the scarf and the gloves, that's all. You can then just back out, walk over here to the shoes, go to skate shoes on slot 3, and equip the all black skate shoes on slot 16. Now that you've done this, just back out of the shoes, walk over here to the hats, go to bulletproof helmets on slot 19, and just equip the black bulletproof. After you do equip the black bulletproof, walk over here to the glasses, go to sports glasses, click on sports glasses, and look for the black outlaw goggles on slot 34. After you do equip the black outlaw goggles, you should see that they do merge with your bulletproof helmet. Now for this outfit, we're just going to head over here to the mask store. 
Once you have made it to the mask door, just walk over here to the mask, scroll down to crime, onslaught 9, and equip the black t-shirt mask that will be on slot 56. Now that you have equipped the black t-shirt mask, back out of the mask door, and for this, we're now going to head over here to the pier to do the telescope glitch and merge the goggles and the helmet with this mask. Whenever you have found a telescope on the pier, just do the telescope glitch. So go and run past telescope like this, here right on the d-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place, then looks towards the telescope just like this, that's how you know you're glitched. Just pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and scroll through your helmets until you do find the black bulletproof. After you find the black bulletproof helmet, you'll see that your mask does come off. You guys don't have to worry, just put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the mask and helmet do merge together just like this. Now, to add the black outlaw goggles, do the telescope glitch again, run past telescope, hit right on the d-pad, your character will run in place, then look towards the telescope, pull up your interaction menu, menu, go to style, go to your accessories, scroll through your glasses until you do find the black outlaw goggles. After you do find the black outlaw goggles, you'll see that your mask does come off, but once again, you don't have to worry, just put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the mask and goggles do merge together just like this with the helmet. Now for the final part, we're gonna go ahead and add the parachute. For the parachute, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your parachute, set your parachute to on and bag, set to the black combat shoe bag. If you don't have the black combat shoe bag, then you're just gonna wanna go over here to go, go just go to any gun store on the map. Then you're just gonna wanna go up to the front counter, go to parachute, go to parachute bags, and then look for the black combat shoe bag. After you do buy the black combat shoe bag, back out of the front counter, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your parachute, set your parachute to on, and it should be set to the black combat shoe bag. And after that, that's pretty much it for the outfit. So now you can just go to the clothing store, save the outfit on whichever slot you want. And after you did save it, now we can just move on to the third male glitched tryhard outfit. Okay guys, so for the third outfit, I'm going to show you guys on how to make this tan joggers outfit that you see in the thumbnail. So for this, you're going to want to head over here to this clothing store because we're going to be using this job right here next to this clothing store. Now that you are over here, you're just going to want to register as a CEO. So after you have registered as a CEO, then you're just going to want to pull up your interaction menu up again. Go to secure serve CEO, go to management, go to style, and you're going to look for the outfit that is called the warlord, which will give you the tan joggers right here. Now, if you guys see this job right here, or if you don't see this job, you're then just gonna wanna pull up your interaction menu, go to map blimp options, go to jobs, go to stun races, and if you guys have it set to hide, then you're just gonna wanna hit right on your D-pad once and set it to show, and you guys will see it will show up on the map just like this. But once you are wearing the Warlord outfit, all you wanna do is go into the job and enter the job. After you've entered the job, you don't need to change anything, just confirm the settings and then launch the job on your own. After you've launched the job on your own, all it's going to have you do is scroll through your motorcycles or it's going to show your motorcycles and all you need to do is scroll through your motorcycles for a few seconds. Once you have done this, you can then just quit the job all the way. Once you've quit the job, you'll load back in with the outfit you had on before the Warlord. Now, that's how you know you hit the glitch. Just run inside the clothing store as fast as you can before the Warlord outfit comes back. Walk up here to the front counter and you're just gonna wanna sit out here. You're just gonna wanna sit here at the front counter until it does kick you out and you should be wearing the Warlord outfit. Once you are wearing the Warlord outfit, then all you need to do is pull up your interaction menu, click on secure serve CEO and retire and you will see that you are wearing the Warlord outfit still. So now we can go ahead and create the tan joggers outfit in the thumbnail. Now for this outfit, all you wanna do is walk up here to the top section, scroll down to sweaters on slot 39 and look for the beige turtleneck on slot 67. After you do equip the beige turtleneck, you can now just back up to the tops. We don't need to worry about the pants since we already have the tan joggers. Walk over here to your accessories, go to necklaces on slot five and equip the pearl bead necklace. Once you have equipped this necklace, go ahead and back out, go to gloves on slot seven and look for the white cotton gloves on slot 53. After you have the pearl bead necklace and the white cotton gloves, you can now just back out of your accessories, walk over here to your shoes, go to sport shoes on slot nine and equip the all white sport shoes on slot 28. Once you have done this, just back out of the shoe section, head over here to the hats, go to bulletproof helmets on slot 19 and equip the tan bulletproof. After you have equipped the tan bulletproof back out of the hats, now for the parachute, all you wanna do is pull up your interaction menu, go to style, 
go to parachute, set your parachute to on, and have your bag set to the black combat shoe bag. If you don't have the black combat shoe bag, just go to any gun store on the map, go up to the front counter, go to parachute, go to parachute bags, and look for the black combat shoe bag. After you have equipped the black combat shoe bag, back up to the front counter, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to parachute, set your parachute to on, and it should be set to the black combat shoe bag. Now that your outfit looks like this, we're gonna go ahead and get the final component for this outfit and go over here to the mask door. After you've made it to the mask door, just walk over here to the mask, scroll down to crime on slot nine and look for the black t-shirt mask on slot 56. After you've equipped the black t-shirt mask, your helmet will come off. Now we're just gonna head over here to the pier to do the telescope glitch. Whenever you have found a telescope on the pier, all you want to do is the telescope glitch. So going to run past telescope like this, hit right on the D-pad, you'll see that your character runs in place, then look towards the telescope, that's how you know you're glitched. All you need to do now is pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your accessories, and scroll through your helmets until you do find the tan bulletproof. When you are scrolling through your helmets, you will see that your mask does come off, but after you have found the tan bulletproof helmet, you can then just put away your interaction menu, walk away from the telescope, and you will see that the mask and helmet do merge together just like this. And this is what your outfit will look like whenever you're done. This is probably one of the best tan joggers outfits in my opinion. I actually really like this outfit. At first I didn't really like it, but I don't know, it's starting to grow on me. I kind of like it. But yeah, now you can just go to the clothing store and save it. After you have saved it, we can now just move on to the fourth mill glitched outfit. This will be the final glitched outfit that I'm gonna show you on how to make. So for this outfit, all you wanna do is head over here to the top section, scroll down until you find polo shirts, which will be on slot 44, and equip the Vibe polo shirt on slot 48. Once you have equipped this polo shirt, you can then just back up the top section, head over here to the pants, scroll down to suit pants on slot six, and you're gonna look for the black slim fit on slot 32. After you have equipped the black slim fit, back out of the pants, head over here to your accessories. I'm gonna go ahead and just take off the necklace real quick, or the IAA badge, and I'll show you guys on how to get that later. But whenever you are here on the accessories, go to gloves on slot seven, and equip the black fingerless gloves on slot 56. After you've equipped the black fingerless gloves, scroll down to cuffs on slot eight, and for your left arm, you're gonna equip the spiked gauntlet on slot 18, and now you can scroll down to slot 32, which is gonna be the spiked gauntlet for your right arm. After you do have the gloves and the cuffs, back out of your accessories scroll up, or walk over here to your shoes scroll down to sport shoes on slot 9 and look for the orange sport shoes on slot 49. whenever you do equip the orange sport shoes back out of the shoe section now we're going to go ahead and take off our hats real quick or our helmets and i'm going to show you guys on how to get the iaa badge because our helmets will come off later anyway so there's no point of me showing you guys on how to get the helmet yet but first we're going to go ahead and get the iaa badge so all you need to do is just head over here to the UL paper mission. But before we do that, you're just gonna wanna save this outfit on any slot that you want. When you have made it over here to the UL paper mission, which is right next to the IAA building, all you wanna do is now go ahead and find a vehicle. Once you do find a vehicle, then that's gonna be the first part to this glitch. Now for the second part, you're gonna wanna add a job to your playlist. So all you wanna do is just go ahead and go to the online section, go to playlist, go to create, once you do click on create, look for add parachute jump, click on add parachute jump, and you're gonna add the jump called a ridge too far. After you do add a ridge too far, you can then just go ahead and back out, scroll down to save playlist, and then just name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it IAA because I'm gonna be getting the IAA badge. Once you have saved it, you can now go ahead and you can see that it did upload. Now you can just go ahead and back out get in a car so it doesn't matter if it's your personal vehicle or a random civilian car on the street but once you do find a car go ahead and drive above this yellow circle just like this now that you have done that go ahead and hit pause go to online go to playlist go to my playlist and you guys can see i already do have two one from earlier on the first outfit that i did make but now that you do have your playlist go ahead and click on it and now it's gonna say, are you sure you wanna start this playlist? You're gonna go ahead and hit okay. After you hit okay, you're gonna start spamming right on the D-pad as fast as you can. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay, start spamming right on the D-pad until I do fully join the job. After I do join the job, this is what the background should look like and it's gonna be called UL Paper Intelligence. You can now just confirm the settings and then launch the job on your own. Once you do launch the job on your own, you should have a background of the Eagle with the IAA building. If you guys don't have this background and it's like a picture or the background of a beach or some other location other than this, 
then you guys did it wrong and you guys will have to restart and do it again. But all you need to do now, after your background looks like this with your personal outfit, just hit ready to play. After you have loaded into the job, you should see that you are wearing the IAA badge on your outfit. You're now gonna to wanna to go ahead and get inside of a car and head to your apartment. You guys can't see your apartments on the map, so you're just gonna to have to recognize wherever it's at. So just head to your apartment and go inside. When you are in your apartment, go to the change in clothes area and you're just gonna to wanna to hit edit saved outfits and save this outfit on whichever slot you want. After you do save the outfit, you can then just back out and now just pull up your phone and quit the job from your phone. Now that you are back in a public session, you'll see that you're not wearing the badge on your character. All you need to do is pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your outfits and equip the outfit you just saved inside of the job and it should look like this with the badge. Now that your outfit looks like this, we're gonna go ahead and add the orange thermal. So just head over here to any clothing store. Okay guys, now that you have made it to a clothing store, walk over here to the hats, scroll down until you do find helmets on slot 16 and you're gonna look for the black open face helmet, which is on slot 77, and you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and buy this helmet. After you do buy the black open face helmet, you can now back out of helmets, scroll down to combat helmets, which will be on slot 22, and look for the zebra quad lens. Once you find the zebra quad lens, equip those quad lens on your character. You can then just back out of the hat section. I'm gonna go ahead and take, I'm gonna deactivate the thermal. I don't know why it was activated, but all you wanna do is pull up your interaction menu, Go to bike helmets and you're gonna scroll through your bike helmets until you do find the black open face helmet. Now that your bike helmet is set to the black open face helmet, go ahead and back out of style and register as a CEO. After you've registered as a CEO, you're now gonna to wanna to go and just hover over style. Don't, you don't have to click on it. Just hover over style and then go ahead and hop inside of a car. Once you do hop inside of a car, Scroll up to Secure Serve CEO, click on Secure Serve CEO, go to Management, go to Style. On your CEO style, scroll one time to the right, and then one time to the left, back to None. You'll see that you are wearing the Zebra Quad Lens. Now hop out of the car and hold right on your D-pad, and you'll see that your visors do go up, just like this, and you can see that they're orange. Now, if you guys want the visors down, hold right on your D-pad again. I didn't mean to do that. Hold right on your D-pad again, and you'll see that your visors do go down just like this and that's the final part to this outfit so all you need to do now is just walk up here to the front counter hit edit saved outfits and you can save this outfit on whichever slot you want and after you do save the outfit that's pretty much it for these four male triad outfits that i made in today's video this is probably my favorite out of the four but yeah i hope you guys do enjoy these outfits please like and subscribe thank you guys for watching peace